our rights and duty. Children, at home you expect your parents to look after you. You expect them to provide you with a home, give you food and clothes, and to pay your school fee. These are your rights. But when you have rights, you also have some duties. Some of your main duties are to respect and help your parents, and to pay attention to your studies. What do you think are your other duties? Think. Let me explain you. Our Constitution Our country was ruled by the British for almost 200 years. After a long and hard struggle, India got its independence from the British on the 15th of August 1947. Our leaders got together to form a government. One of the first things they did was to make a set of rules, based on which the government would run. This set of rules is known as our constitution. The constitution was accepted on the 26th of January 1950. We celebrate this day as Republic Day. Our constitution lays down some important guiding principles that have to be followed by the leaders of our nation. The preamble, or introduction, to our constitution describes India as a democratic, socialist, secular republic. What does it mean? Let us understand, democratic. This means that all the people of the country will choose or elect leaders who would form the government. This kind of government is known as democracy. Thus, our country is no longer ruled by kings. If the people are not happy with their elected leaders, they can be removed from their posts. Socialist. This means that all the people in the country will be treated as equals. The government will not differentiate between people on the basis of their caste, religion or in any other way. This is known as the principle of socialism, secular. This means that all people in the country would be free to follow whatever religion they want. This is known as the principle of secularism. Republic. This means that our head of state is elected by the people. India is headed by an elected president, unlike Britain whose head of state is a hereditary monarch. Our fundamental rights. The constitution of India gives its citizens certain fundamental rights. If anyone feels that his or her fundamental rights have been denied, he or she can approach a court of law. Let us learn some important rights. Right to equality. Everyone is equal. Right to freedom of speech. We can speak freely without fear. Right to follow any religion. Right to justice. Right to live and travel anywhere in the country. Right to choose our profession. Right to free and compulsory education for all children up to the age of 14. However, these rights are not absolute and the government may take certain measures, like reserving jobs or seats in colleges for the backward and poorer sections of society, for their upliftment. Our duties Duties always come along with rights. Some of our important duties as citizens of India are we must follow the rules laid down by the constitution. We must honor the national flag and national anthem. We must help to keep our country united. We must defend our country at the time of danger. We must protect our national property. We must protect our environment. We must treat all Indians as equals. Facts to learn. Some of the other forms of government are 1. Monarchy The state is ruled by a king or queen. The monarchy is hereditary, 
that is when the monarch dies, his or her child becomes the new ruler. Dictatorship The state is ruled by a single leader who has absolute power. He or she often misuses this power to oppress the people. The rule here is not hereditary, communism. All property is owned by the government. The state provides its people with health care, education and welfare. All people are seen as equal by this government. Directive Principles Our constitution lays down certain guidelines for the government to follow, for the welfare of the people. Let us see some of the important guidelines. Providing proper living conditions for all citizens. Providing work for everyone. Ensuring that some people do not become rich by exploiting others. Communism all property is owned by the government. The state provides its people with health care, education and welfare. All people are seen as equal by this government. I now know. Our constitution is a set of rules based on which our government runs. India is a democratic, socialist, secular country. The constitution gives all citizens certain fundamental rights and also lays down the duties of the citizens. The directive principles laid down in the constitution guide the government to work for the welfare of the people. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.